Hello, I'm Carolyn Clifford, and here are your 7 Action News headlines. Michigan Congresswoman Debbie Dingell is recovering from emergency surgery. Her spokesperson says she's doing well after suffering a perforated ulcer. Dingell had the emergency surgery at George Washington University Hospital. The Dearborn Democrat will be recovering there for the next few days. Her spokesperson says Dingell is hoping this scare will be a cautionary tale to others that pain relievers known as NSAIDs can be harmful. We're told Dingo chose to use them instead of opioids after jaw surgery earlier this year. Well, Central Michigan University quarterback John Keller reached a milestone in his recovery after being shot at a party. His grateful father tweeted John was headed home from the hospital. He thanked the Hurley medical trauma team in Flint for saving his son's life. Keller, who's from Ohio, and another student were shot after the accused gunman was asked to leave an off-campus party last month. A Detroit man faces 10 charges, including attempted murder. Well, two separate incidents have led to the hospitalizations of two toddlers who fell from building windows. The first happened Friday morning when a two-year-old fell from the seventh floor of an apartment building at New Center Pavilion. Just a few hours later, a three-year-old fell from the second floor of an apartment building on West Grand Boulevard. Both children are in stable condition. We're told both kids' parents were home at the time. Detroit police are investigating the incidents, while experts are reminding parents to be cautious of open windows with or without screens. Well, a warning after the discovery of a rare case of rabies in Detroit, a six-month-old dog tested positive for the disease. This is the state's first case involving a dog in a decade. The health department is urging people to make sure their pets are vaccinated. We're told the infected pup never had the vaccine. The rabies virus is usually carried by skunks or bats here in Michigan. Testing is ongoing to determine the strain that infected that little dog. All right, let's check in with uh, meteorologist Mike Taylor. He has a check of your seven first alert forecast. Hey, Mike. That's right. Thanks, Carolyn. We'll see temperatures in the 60s for tonight. And then as we get into tomorrow morning, a warm start. The humidity will be there and we're expecting a little bit of rain.